Hey dolls! So it is time for yet another monthly favorites video. This is my March favorites. I know it's going up just a little bit late. I'm doing it anyway, so that's what counts. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into this. I'm doing it anyway, so that's what counts. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into this. So before I get into my other monthly favorites, I have to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, Anna Luisa jewelry i believe that is how it's pronounced their items actually come from the same jewelers as tiffany's and louis vuitton which is really really cool and i am wearing one of their pieces right now i have been wearing it for a few days now and it is just so simple and subtle and pretty and i love like how it sits i love to wear crop tops like this and so this length is perfect because it just sits right there on my little collarbone. I'm not the type of person to wear like over the top gaudy jewelry on a day-to-day -day basis so this is something that is just like a cute little accent for kind of my really colorful crazy t-shirts that I wear. I don't like to overdo it with jewelry too much on a regular basis so their jewelry is like fine and dainty and just gorgeous. So because their products come from the same jewelers as Tiffany's and Louis Vuitton everything is like recyclable. With cheap jewelry it isn't easily recycled and it's very harmful for the environment. So this is awesome because if your items do damage or break over time, you can recycle them. However, they do offer a one year warranty with their pieces, which is awesome. I have this necklace and then I also have another one. And this one I picked out just as a simple chain so that I can add like whatever charms to it I want in the future. The one that I'm wearing right now, this is the Edona. E-D-O-N-A, and this is the sterling silver one. And keep in mind that though these are from the same jeweler as Tiffany's and Louis Vuitton, they're not like heavily overpriced. They're actually very affordable compared to some other retailers, which is awesome. But this is the other one that I got. This is the Anna Gold. So they have the same chain in like a, uh, I think a rose gold, a sterling silver, and then this one. And I decided to get this gold one just because I don't have a lot of gold jewelry pieces and I wanted more. You can see how subtle and simple this is but it will be so cute with a little charm of or whatever right here in the center i love chains like this because i can add to them or i can just wear them very simple or i could even wear the two of these together if i were to get both of them silver or both of them gold they are awesome for layering thank you so much anna luisa for sending me these little goodies i am obsessed with them and i do actually have a ten dollar off coupon code for you guys so the link to their website will be down below and don't forget to use my coupon code to save some money Psst, mother's day is coming up like next month in may because this is april by the time this video is going out but um it has super affordable beautiful jewelry so if you want to get your mom something for mother's day use my coupon code and get her something pretty and cute and nice that isn't going to break immediately because it's actually high quality without having a high quality price tag anyway so thank you so much Anna Luisa jewelry and with that being said let's get on into my monthly favorites so obviously my biggest favorite of the month of March was my Disneyland trip clearly I mean you guys saw all the vlogs you saw the haul some of these items I'm about to show you you already saw in the Disneyland haul but in case you haven't watched that I'm going to show you some of these to give you an idea of what my haul was like and then you can go watch my haul. I'll link it right here on the screen. But anyway, obviously my Disneyland trip was my favorite thing and I am a sucker for pictures. I always have to take 100,000 photos every time I go on a trip, especially when it's Disneyland. And so I had two custom things made, actually three. I'll show you three of them. So the first thing I had made was this collage phone case. I had one of these made when I went with my mom to Disneyland two years ago, and I fell in love with the case so much I had to get another one. So this is from Case Defy. I will leave my link down below to give you guys a $10 discount. I 
I think you have to download their app in order to make the collage cases, but I think my link will still work for $10 off coupon. They have all kinds of different cases though, not just collage cases. You can get them custom with your name printed on them. They have glitter fall, fall cases. They have all kinds of stuff on their website, but this is my collage case that I had made and they have them to where you can select different types of cases and I selected the one that has a pink bumper and here you can see some of the photographs and of course another custom thing that I had made my custom pop socket right here this is a photo that I took when I went to Disneyland the last time and I edited it put a little pink background on there made it a little bit more pastel and I submitted it on the pop sockets website as a customizable piece and yeah so I got a new little pop socket and the pink ones uh, it is one of those poppable ones so you can interchange the tops of them which is amazing because the castle was under refurbishment when I went on my trip recently I was missing my castle so I didn't get any pictures of the castle in its glory I got some of like the construction but like I'm not gonna put that on a phone case to display to the world so um I had to have my castle because I was missing my castle so I had that made and I love it so 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 much so again case defy will be linked down below and then this was just made on the pop sockets website okay and then the third custom thing that I had made is this photo book I couldn't decide whether I wanted to do a photo album so I did do a photo album with traditional four by six prints uh, I bought the photo album at Disneyland and I did that but I also had this photo book made I wanted to do both styles and kind of see see which one I liked better for future trips because a photo book like this is really really neat it takes up less space than a photo album and you can really customize the pages rather than putting a solid like only two pictures per page like you would a traditional photo album so this is really really cool I'm obsessed with this it printed out so beautifully here you can see the front page it just says California 2019 it also says it on the edge right here on the bind and so when it is up against a wall or on a shelf or something you can see that it says California 2019 and then if you get a ton of these you can kind of just stack them next to each other so these were from Shutterfly I don't know if I have a coupon code for you guys I purchased this I'm not an affiliate with them at all but if I do have a coupon code or something that I can leave down below for you guys I will uh, I got this 50% off because I ordered it during St. Patrick's Day so it was perfect the whole website was 50% off but um as you can see it prints so beautifully even with the iPhone pictures that we took let's see if I have one yeah this is this is a, a, a cell phone photo and it's still printed out very crisp and clean so I put all of the pictures from downtown Disney all of the pictures from California Adventure all the pictures from Disneyland and you can see like each page has like a different layout which I really really like because I could really customize the pages and the cool thing is is they have this stock like already put together uh, Disney themed album you can't change the cover of it unfortunately you can just put a different picture in the front but you can change out which pages there are like which backgrounds which I think is really really cool and of course you can also add text to each page within the website or the app when you're customizing your book you can literally type out like a paragraph or something with the story I don't want to have to worry about typos and stuff my first time around so I didn't type out the stories but after I get after I got this in the mail I I kind of regret not typing out the little stories under each page I think that would have been really really cute to kind of to add like a little story under each one or like kind of describe the photo when you're looking back on this years and years later you can like reference that little text and just be like oh my gosh I remember that although they do say pictures are worth a thousand words and there's a lot of pictures in here so I got a whole lot of words and I'm very excited about this and also you can do like one picture pages like this so your favorite pictures are all blown up and huge in there and there you can see the castle under refurbishment they put the scrim on there um, but yeah it's set to open up in the next couple months I think I definitely might think about getting one of these for my next trip 
Okay, so there are those. Now, the next Disney thing I have to talk to you guys about is the shirt that I'm wearing. I did not get this in the park. This is from Alex Strangler, and she's a tattoo slash artist. She's a tattoo artist slash artist that I follow on Instagram, and I am obsessed with her work, as you can see why. Um, it is just so pastel and kawaii, and I am completely obsessed with it. So, of course, when I saw that she had this new Marie crop top on her shop, I had to order it immediately. She also has like regular t-shirts and stuff with the same print. I think maybe even hoodies. So if you're interested in the print, I will leave her shop link down below as well. And I just love it so much. I've been getting so many comments on it. So I figured I would wear it for this video uh, because number one, it's a favorite. And number two, I can answer some of your guys' questions as to where I got it. I have not showed this on my channel yet. I don't think you can order this online anymore. It sold out within like a few hours, I think. Maybe, maybe even even a little bit longer than that but oh my gosh I saw this and I fell in love with it I ordered it right before my Disneyland trip but this is one of the new lounge fly mini backpacks and this is the Disney princess one though the only thing princessy about it is the little castle emblem right here and the little sleeping beauty crowns all throughout the quilted pattern all the way around, not on the bottom, but all the way around, and it is so cute, and it even has the classic Disney D little charm right there on the smaller zip pocket, but as you can see, Disney Lounge Fly. I got this on the Hot Topic website, and I was shocked at the price of this thing. I think it was like $40, and then I had a 30% off coupon to use on top of that, so I think I only paid like $30 for this thing, which was amazing, especially for Lounge Fly, because their purses like this usually go for $60 plus, so I was so happy when I found this, especially since it's all pastel pink and totally me, plus Sleeping Beauty is my favorite Disney princess, and Again, the castle is awesome to have on there as well. Um, but yes, uh, it did not come with the pom-pom or the Minnie Mouse keychain. Uh, the Minnie Mouse keychain you saw in my Disneyland haul, I got it at a gift shop. And the pom-pom is from like Walmart, I think. But uh, yeah, that's how it came all by itself. And it's just so cute. And I've been using this as my daily purse since I got it and I could not be happier. So unfortunately, I don't think they have these for sale anymore, but you might be able to find one on like Poshmark, Depop, eBay etc. Then another Disney bag. Obviously, you guys saw this in the thumbnail. You saw this in my other haul is my Danielle Nicole Sleeping Beauty Castle crossbody bag that I got in the park. Uh, I actually got it at World of Disney in downtown Disney, but I am obsessed with this. You, If you don't live close to the parks or you don't have a trip coming up, but you really want this bag, People are selling them on eBay and Poshmark and Depop for around $90 to $100. Uh, they are normally $75. So if you're someone who lives really far away, but you're really obsessed with the castle or this bag, it's a little bit worth the money because you would pay an extra $20 for someone to do like the shopping service thing anyway. So sometimes it's worth it but if you can make your way to the park or have someone a friend pick this up for you it's definitely adorable it is very small I will tell you that if you're used to carrying big bags you're gonna have to learn how to downsize if you want to use this this guy right here uh, there are no pockets on the inside there's just a little patch right here but it is adorable nonetheless and I am someone who typically carries a little bit bigger of a bag but I'm willing to sacrifice for a few days or for however long to wear this and downsize just a little bit it's just so so precious and they do also have a Cinderella Castle uh, Disney World version as well. So I've seen and heard online. But this is the Sleeping Beauty Castle from Disneyland, of course. The next favorites I have, as you guys may know, uh, Payless Shoes is going out of business. They are bankrupt, so they're closing like all of their stores everywhere. So I went there the other day and I found and picked up these pastel pink champion slides. I've worn them a couple times, as you can see, <laughs> but these are actually uh, the little kids size three. 
but they do have women's ones as well and I think they have different colors but of course I had to have these pastel pink ones I love how this slide part right here is just slightly padded so they're a little bit more comfortable than your normal slides and uh, yeah I managed to get these for like $12 I think which was so cool with all of their sales definitely hit up your local Payless if you need shoes or handbags or heel grips for your shoes or maybe some jewelry um, they have accessories and all kinds of stuff there so yeah check out your local Payless before they go out of business so you can find cute deals like this I love these and I'm so excited to wear them more during the summer all right I have uh, like three kind of cosmetic type things the first is my Marie rollerball perfume I got this you guys saw it in my Disneyland haul I got this at box lunch and you can get it on their website too it's just boxlunch.com but this scent I like I love this scent I have been like putting this on every single day on my wrists and just like smelling it and it's so beautiful and I hope to buy the actual bottle of it soon but for now I just have the little Marie rollerball and it is just so cute I love the packaging as well and you get quite a bit of product I think this was $13 and you get 0.34 ounces. It's very cute and like I said you can get it on the Box Lunch website. And then I have two makeup items. The first is the Maybelline up to 24 hour foundation. I think that's what it's called. Maybelline 24 hour foundation. Not 100% sure. Um, I forgot how much I liked this foundation. I had purchased this like a year or so ago and I went through two bottles of it and then I just like stopped using it and I kind of forgot about it because I ran out and then I just started using something else and I repurchased this recently because I really like that it has the pump. I, I have a love-hate relationship with the pump because the top doesn't like screw off and it doesn't like pop off so to get the excess product out of the bottom you have to like smash the glass open which is not very good if you guys know a better way please let me know but the top does not like screw off like a normal bottle but I do like the convenience of a pump because I'm not accidentally like pouring too much product on the back of my hand etc but uh I love this stuff I forgot how nice it was and how well it laid down and how well it covered everything I just love how this looks on and I can't believe I just stopped using it it's amazing I get mine at Walmart you can get it at Walmart Walgreens places like that anywhere that carries a Maybelline products usually and then I recently picked up the Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Vanity. I purchased this when I got my Jeffree Star uh, makeup sponges that he recently released. And I'm wearing it today. And I like it. Usually you guys know I'm obsessed with the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Rosebud. Usually I'm always wearing that one because I love the mauve -y hue to it. And this one is a little bit more of a deeper deeper nude and it said like the description on the website was lavender but it doesn't look too purple on me and I think that's because like it I don't know this darker nude just looks good with my hair since my hair is like a darker shade of pink it just like works together I don't I don't know why but I really really enjoy it so that is definitely a favorite this is like one of my best investments in quite a long time as far as electronics go as lint goes everywhere. This is a fabric shaver. And I cannot believe that number one, I didn't know these things existed. And number two, I can't believe I hadn't purchased one because I can't tell you how many of my clothing items have pilling. If you guys aren't familiar with what pilling is, basically on sweaters, t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, leggings, Depending on the material, it can develop what you call pilling, and what that is is just like little lint, like fabric balls, kind of bunched up and stuck into the fabric. Personally, I get mine on the sides of my boobs often, where my arm is constantly rubbing up against my shirt, and just like the front of my shirt. Basically, where any, where there's any like constant rubbage or moving around, that's where it's going to pill the fastest. And first also when I have hoodies or sweaters it's always around like the cuffs of the sleeves I always get the pillage around there and what this does is it 
shaves off the pilling. It's exactly what it says. It's a fabric shaver. So you have, if you have any like excess lint balls or anything like that on your shirts, you can just lay them flat on the table, turn this thing on and just go in like little circular motions and it will literally just shave off. You know how you shave your legs? You just like use your little razor and you just go and then all the hair's gone. That's what this does with the little limp balls. It doesn't rip up your shirts. It doesn't ruin your clothing. You just put very, very light pressure and just like go around like this and it just snips and sucks all of the lint off and then it traps it in this little compartment here. You just throw it all away and you're good to go. This is the Conair brand one and it is battery operated. So as you can see, there's no cord. It just takes two AA batteries. And I got this on eBay for $11. Like, and I think they sell it at Walmart and stuff too. And they also do have a corded one. So if you wanted to get the long plug-in cord so you don't have to deal with batteries all the time, you can definitely do that. I use rechargeable batteries, so I don't really mind. I don't really mind not having the plug-in because I like the portability of this, especially with travel. Um, but yes, I cannot believe I didn't know about these things sooner. You can see like <laughs> the little lint that's like trapped in here. You just take this front piece off to clean that out. But uh, my fiance brought a couple of his hoodies over. I got all of the pilling off of them and I have just given so many of my t-shirts a brand new life. Years ago, before I even knew these things existed, I would use just a regular razor, like a disposable razor, and I would literally manually shave my shirts and my leggings and stuff. I would manually shave all of the little fabric balls off and it was time consuming. It was exhausting. It was strenuous, hard, manual labor. And to find this, and it just does all the work for you, you just gotta go and then it's all done. This has changed my life and I highly recommend it. You can get it on Amazon, eBay, all over the place. Just search Conair Fabric Shaver or Conair Fabric Defuzzer and it'll pop up and it will change your life and it's just, I, I cannot believe I lived 26 years of my life without owning one of these. Like that's ridiculous to me. Anyway, that is going to wrap it up for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out Anna Luisa Jewelry and use my $10 off coupon code, which I will leave in the description box below, especially if you want to get something for your mom for Mother's Day. With that being said, I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right.